Hey guys, um, I just sold a uh, Nissan battery that was uh, similar power to this one. Sorry, ooh, that must look terrible to uh, swap that, but I'm filming from the top, so uh, just wanted to show the specs of this battery. Uh, this is a GM, comes out of a Jeep uh, 4x4 uh, that has been. Uh, um, garaged for over two years and it has 70 amp hours 800 amp CCA <coughs> cold cranking amps and uh, it shows two and a half volts now the first thing that's weird is that I swear um, I had measured uh, this battery while it was still in the car at one and a half volts and then we had taken it out and had uh, measured it again when I brought it here at one and a half volts and then I hooked up my uh, Bedini thing here but I didn't I didn't even connect the uh, the power supply and now it shows two and a half volts so anyway I just wanted to document this I can't go back to the one and a half volt, not that I want to, uh, but um, uh, in any case, uh, I replaced it with a refreshed Nissan battery that had 75 amp hours and 760 uh, amps, uh, cold, crank, cold cranking amps, <coughs> uh, on this on the English or EN standard uh, whatever however they measure that uh, norm and it it turned it's a diesel it was a two and a half liter diesel engine and it uh, it turned off it turned over right away and uh, it uh, it worked fine I mean you started the car like five six times and started it started every time so uh, and the Nissan battery was a battery that I had um, gotten uh, probably I can blend in the picture of my ad uh, when I sold it. Um, I'm trying not to make this terrible video, sorry. Um, but um, And it was a battery that got out of the uh, recycling uh, uh, station or point and I had uh, used uh, well different Bedinis really but um, regular chargers and then once it got over uh, 14 volts I used Bedini's just because Bedini's are really slow at cranking at putting um, charge into a battery but they're great at uh, getting rid of, rid of the sulfation so anyway now I have this and it shows two and a half volts so I want to use this Bedini to to see how far up I can I can go um, just with a bedini so it's now well four o'clock four or five and uh, I'll launch that okay so here's the part that I couldn't do with one hand so I hooked up power supply it's at full open uh, 31, 32 volts uh, current limiting is probably at 50, 500 milliamps or so but it's not gonna go over that and connected the inputs and then the outputs are coming out of here and going direct to the battery okay so I'm gonna launch this wait did I touch something? Okay. Oh damn it, just as I launched my Bedini, um, it, uh, the battery went dead, so it's still dead, but I'm hoping to film this. The voltage went right up, it's only been two minutes, right up to 10.3 uh, and it's rising. Uh, well, it was just 10.49 I think when I uh, relaunched this, so battery's gonna go dead again, I have to go charge it. I'll come back, it's uh, 4 or 7. Bye.